you can identify a flower by smelling and touching it, but you can't identify the color of the flower. Hear the sound. It's probably the car coming round the corner of the road. Can you guess what kind of car it is? No, not without looking at it. Human eye is an organ of sight for human beings. Your eye transforms light waves reflected from objects that you see into images. Information about these images is then sent to your brain. Based on the information, your brain creates images of what you look at. In technical sense, your eye can be considered as an optical device, that is, instrument of vision, that it takes light. Let's look how it works. First, see the structure of eye. It is spherical in shape with diameter of approximately 1 inch. The human eye has a thin membrane known as cornea. The light enters the eye through the cornea. Maximum refraction of light rays entering the eye takes place from cornea. Behind the cornea, there is a dark muscular diaphragm called as iris. The colors of iris are different for different people. There is a small opening of variable diameter at the center of iris called pupil. The pupil is useful to control and regulate the amount of light entering the eye. The pupil contracts if there is too much light, while the pupil dilates in insufficient light. This tendency of pupil to adjust the opening for light is called adaptation. The cornea forms a transparent bulge on the surface of the eyeball. The eyeball is spherical in shape with a diameter of about 2.3 cm. There is a transparent biconvex crystalline body located just behind the pupil. It is a lens. This crystalline lens provides fine adjustment of focal length. With the help of this adjustment, real and inverted image gets formed on the retina. Retina is the light-sensitive screen. It is a delicate membrane. It consists of large number of light-sensitive cells. These cells get activated upon illumination. They generate electrical signals. These signals are passed by optic nerves to the brain. Then, the brain interprets these signals and also processes the information in such a way that we perceive the objects as they are. The cornea forms a transparent bulge on the surface of the eyeball. The eyeball is spherical in shape. Power of accommodation The eye lens is composed of a fibrous, jelly-like material. Its curvature can be modified to some extent by the ciliary muscles. The change in the curvature of the eye lens can thus change its focal length. When the muscles are relaxed, the lens becomes thin. Thus, its focal length increases. This enables us to see distant objects clearly. When you are looking at objects closer to the eye, the ciliary muscles contract. This increases the curvature of the eye lens. The eye lens then becomes thicker. Consequently, the focal length of the eye lens decreases. This enables us to see nearby objects clearly. 
The ability of the eye lens to adjust its focal length is called accommodation. However, the focal length of the eye lens cannot be decreased below a certain minimum limit. Try to read a printed page by holding it very close to your eyes. You may see the image being blurred or feel strain in the eye. To see an object comfortably and distinctly, you must hold it at about 25 centimeters from the eyes. The minimum distance at which objects can be seen most distinctly without strain is called the least distance of distinct vision. It is also called the near point of the eye. For a young adult with normal vision, the near point is about 25 centimeters. The farthest point up to which the eye can see objects clearly is called the far point of the eye. It is infinity for a normal eye. You may note here, a normal eye can see objects clearly that are between 25 centimeters and infinity. Sometimes, the crystalline lens of people at old age becomes milky and cloudy. This condition is called cataract. This causes partial or complete loss of vision. It is possible to restore vision through a cataract surgery.